Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. We have three stories for you this week. PSI is reducing the payout to testing providers and AOPA is pretty worried. Uh, French investigators joined the NTSB in criticizing the Ethiopian 737 MAX report that we talked about last week. And lastly, a test flight with an 11 bladed propeller. That's right, let's get to it. Your first story this week is PSI is changing the cut for testing centers. Uh, as many of you know, PSI is the testing provider for all FAA tests and the only testing provider. Uh, PSI contracts with local testing centers to provide the exam and then the local centers in return get a cut of the revenue. Uh, according to an AOPA letter to PSI, there's a significant majority of the 207,000 exams that were completed in 2022 that were done at a contract testing center. Uh, if you actually look on the PSI website, there is only a very few PSI centers uh, in general doing these tests. Uh, PSI is now changing the amount of revenue that these centers are getting uh, all the way from $65 per exam all the way down to $22. Uh, this is out of $175 that PSI is charging. Uh, that's a reduction of 66% in revenue for those testing centers. Uh, AOPA is worried that this will have a direct impact on the amount of testing centers nationwide, resulting in longer wait time and also resulting in longer drives to those testing centers. So uh, um, AOPA has asked PSI to actually change the date that this is going to go in effect so that testing centers have time to adjust. Uh, we'll see if uh, PSI is actually going to be responsive or if they're just going to uh, be taking more money uh, out of that $175 and uh, have basically zero opposition because they're the only provider and have a monopoly uh, because of the FA. All right, BEA, the French Accident Investigation Agency, has joined the NTSB in criticizing the Ethiopian Airlines 737 MAX report. We talked about this last week and BEA uh, concurs that uh, the aspect of the crew performance and the cockpit voice recorders was definitely minimized in, uh, in the report and, and probably minimally analyzed as well. Uh, the BEA goes on to say that uh, the analysis could actually yield useful lessons uh, beyond what we have learned from the MCAS, which was the, the, the thing that uh, Ethiopia uh, said was the, the major issue with this accident. The third story this week is an 11 bladed propeller that is in testing. Uh, the goal of the propeller is to increase the thrust, which according to MT Propeller, the maker of this propeller, uh, this test yielded 15% of increased static thrust, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, the company said that they're hoping to uh, get more testing and that hopefully this will uh, help decrease the not only the, the sound of the propeller, but also decrease the amount of um, uh, fuel necessary in order to run the engine. And then uh, they say that hopefully this will become available on uh, electric engines as well. So that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your week and then we'll see you next week. That's it. We, that's it. That's it. That's it. We, are we, are we, are we, that's it folks.